What is up guys, Gamer That Sucks here, and today I'm going to show you on how to get the Sora armor set piece. Now, the first set piece that you get, uh, you get it automatically by doing the main quest in the Sora domain. So the king, after you speak to the king, he will give you the first armor piece, which is the chest piece. Now, after that, what you need to do is just follow the way that I'm currently going. You're just going to go up these stairs and you're going to have to speak to someone. Now, when you speak to this person, she will give you a side quest for you to do. And it, with that side quest, you need to go to a mountain and you need to take a picture of a certain monster. Now, this monster is really, really strong. So if you want, you can fight him, but you don't have to. All you have to do is just take a picture of him. Now, she's going to show you here where the mountain is. And I believe the mountain is Ploymus Mountain. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's where you need to go. Now, the easy way to go up this mountain is by climbing up the waterfalls by swimming up them. And you'll be able to do that with the chest piece that you got from the king. So after you speak to this woman, we'll be able to make our way to the um, place. Okay, so once you finish speaking to her, just make your way to the waterfall here. So just follow exactly where I'm going right now. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here so you guys can see this a little bit quicker. And while I'm showing you here on the map, the point that we need to go to in order for us to take the picture of the monster. The monster's name is Lionel. So let's make our way there. So here we're just going to run towards the waterfall and same things apply as every video that I've done so far. I need to speak over them in order to avoid any copyright issues. So I do apologize if you do not like my voice, but I do have to keep speaking over it. So once we get to the waterfall, we're just going to climb up to the waterfall and we'll have the option to climb up the waterfall here. Now this part is really easy just keep going up and keep swimming towards the waterfall and you'll keep getting the option to swim up the waterfall just make sure that you like i said you have the chest piece equipped because if you don't then you won't be able to swim up the waterfall so there's going to be three waterfalls that you're going to have to swim up so this is the last waterfall we're going to go up and i am just going to speed it up here so it doesn't take that long because I believe this is the long one that I have to swim up. Yep. And once you make it to the top here, um, if this is your first time getting here, I would recommend you to pick up the shock arrows that are going to be on the tree because you do need them for the main quest in order for you to go to the uh, temple beast. So once you've collected the arrows that are around the tree, if you want, just make your way up the path here of the hill. And make sure you have your camera rune ready because once you reach um, the top of this mountain, you'll get a small little cutscene where the Lionel will show up. Now, if this is your first time coming here, you'll get the cutscene. If it's not, then there's no cutscene that's going to happen. Now, as you can see there, that's the Lionel that we need to take the picture of. So with the cutscene, it's going to put us right behind a rock in which we'll have direct uh, view of the Lionel. So just take a picture of him and just run out of there as soon as possible. Now to make it easier on myself here, what I did, I just jumped down the um, hill here and I teleported back to the Sora domain, which it's easy to get there by um, going to the shrine that's in the middle of the Sora domain. And that's the next place we're going to go to, actually. That's the Toto Lake. And that's where we're going to get the next uh, Sora armor piece. So here, I'm just going to teleport back to Sora Domain, like I said here before. And once you're at Sora's Domain, all you need to do is just follow the same way that I'm currently going. Um, I found it easier to go this way than by just climbing up the hill because you do run the risk of having rain 
And if you get rain, you won't be able to climb very well since you'll keep on slipping. But it's all up to you on how you want to get there. So I'm just going to speed it up here to show you the path and what you need to do. You are going to need to climb some waterfalls here as well. Now, for this specific waterfall, you might need some stamina food because um, the current is really, really hard. Like, it's really, really, like, fast. So it's not going to let you just swim up to the waterfall easily. So what I had to do here is I had to go back to where the uh, land is. And then I just climbed myself up to that small little um, hill that you currently see me going to. Now, I kind of messed up here. What was supposed to happen is I was supposed to jump paraglide close as possible to the waterfall and then swim up. But for some reason, um, Link kept trying to climb the wall. So I don't know what the hell was happening here. As you can see here, yeah, this is where it starts happening. I keep climbing up and I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do was just jump and then get to the waterfall. It didn't even let me paraglide for some reason because I just dropped. So... Once you get there, just swim as close as you can to the waterfall until you get the option to swim up. Now, since I messed up here, I got really close to my stamina running out. But if you do this correctly, you, you'll have enough stamina to go up both of the waterfalls. So this is the part where I cut it really, really close. And you'll see here I ran out of stamina and I got the option to swim up. So I got really lucky here. So once you swim up, will be able to get to Toto Lake. And in Toto Lake, you'll be able to get the piece. Now the piece is going to be in a chest and the chest is going to be underwater. So when I get here, what I did was I got the magnet rune ready and I started looking around here to see if it was close. But what you actually need to do is you actually need to climb that building on the ruins there and you'll be able to get a correct sight of exactly where the chest is. So I just sped this part up just to show you what I was doing here. So you guys know what was happening. So as you can see here, I'm now just currently climbing up the small little tower here. Now, once you get up to the tower, just use your magnet rune and you'll be able to see that the chest is right there. Now, you won't be able to get the chest from where you are on top of that building so just make sure you just get close to it use your magnet rune on it and just take the chest to land anywhere you like i just took it to that small little beach place that's right near it and then all you want to do is just bring up the chest to you and you open it up now this is where you'll get the sora helm and once you get the sora helm all you need to do now is just travel back to sora's domain and just hand in the side quest. With that, you'll be able to get the bottom of the Sora armor, and then you'll be good to go. Now, what's cool about this armor is that you'll be able to swim up faster in water, and also you'll be able to swim up waterfalls, and you'll also be able to um, do a spin attack in the water as well. So now we've made it back to Sora domain, and we just need to go back to the girl to hand in the quest and that's that's pretty much it so if you did like the video leave a like and also leave a comment if the video was helpful and subscribe if you want to do that as well so this has been the tutorial and see you guys next time